This morning I heard a good case. A recent study reports that the number of stay-at-home mothers is increasing, and some of them are reporting an increasing level of discontent as well. The couple I met today faced their frustrations and insecurities when they came in to divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Shannon Lewis and Mariah Sanders. The two of you have been together for three years. Mr. Lewis, you have four children with three different babies' mothers. Ms. Sanders, you have a couple of kids yourself, but you don't have any kids between you. Uh, you do not want to be together anymore, hence you are in divorce court. Mr. Lewis, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and why we're here today? All right, how you doing, Judge? Well, first off, I've been with Mariah for the past four years, and I just don't think the relationship quite where it should be. She's lazy. She hasn't had a job since the time we've been together. And I mean, I quite don't feel that's fair. She's gonna try to tell you she's been a dancer. I don't consider that to be a job, especially if it's not helping us get to the next step in life. So mm -hmm. I just feel like at this point, I'm drowned with having to help with her situation as far as her kids, what I bring to the table as well. Because I was gainfully employed for the first three years. Mm -hmm. I worked, I supported everything we needed, and I just don't feel like she was there. She hasn't got up and tried. She hasn't went to go to school. She hasn't applied done for anything. a real job. They haven't done anything. She's just been cool with the way I come in. It's just, I got it, I don't got it. Okay, she sit there, she cool with it. She don't clean the house. I argue with her about simple things. It's washing the clothes. There have been situations where I just started off washing the clothes, left her to finish, and I'm coming back in to finish with that, folding the clothes, and she has the audacity to do things such. Fold her own clothes up and leave the rest of the clothes in the pile. It's oh kids in the house, God. my clothes, bathroom stuff, and it's just, that's not important to her. It's just all about her, and I just feel fed up at this point. Okay. Ms. Sanders, he true. says you're lazy, sloppy, unemployed, and he's sick of you. What, what is your response to that? He feel like he wants the everything done right then and there. It got to be done right then and there. If you've been sitting there for right like now, two weeks, no. it should have been done hang, already. Hang on, Mr. Lewis. Hang on, Mr. No. Lewis. Are, are you it working right now? There. Are you working no, outside not, the home no. not right, right now? No, I'm at home. How long does it take you to get the clothes together after you've washed them? Until I remind them. Mr. Lewis? It doesn't take me long to get the clothes together. He wants me to... Right then when he say, wash the clothes, wash the clothes, and then as soon as they come out the dryer, fold the clothes and put the clothes up. Okay, I understand, you gotta, Stop. I understand you gotta fold the clothes, put the clothes up, all that, I understand that. But I have other things in the household that I have to do besides just fold clothes. So I'm multitasking, I'm Such. cleaning up, I'm taking care of the kids, I'm doing everything I gotta do. So sometimes right then, just right then and now, I can't just stop and just fold now, clothes. Now is folding clothes the focal point of your anger, I mean, is it, or is it, or is it her entire, uh... It's the entire consistent flow of what consists with running a household. Multitasking, you a mom, you're supposed to be able to wash the kids, fold clothes, and get dinner ready. It shouldn't take you four hours to do one thing, so now the next thing got to wait till the next day. Is everything else, though, taken care of other than the clothes getting folded? No, nah, to, to her, watching the kids is just letting them run around really? the house, not bother her. That's why I'm the mean man. When I come in, things get back in order. They're not jumping around on the furniture. they not got toys all in my front room, none they of that. don't mess with you. But, but when she's right. home... This is this all fun? Is it because don't right. nobody got no responsibilities? Kids' room terrible. Like I say, the laundry is half done. That's why it's it, But it's still just the principle of them knowing that they have to do these things. Do you have any structure in your household? They kids. They young I want kids. Them to have a routine. Six, do you teach them? Do you sit down and work and with three. them? Yes. Do you read to them? Yes. They. I read them bedtime stories before they go to bed. I do all that. They sometimes That's they want to play. Time. They in the house all the time. It's cold outside. They can't go to the park or go to the beach like they normally like to do. So they got to exercise their legs. They want to run around and play. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't think that that's them being out of control or uh -huh. anything like but that. But do they? Do they well, let me ask you this: Is the household generally in order? If, 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 do you have a drop by household? Like I don't have a drop by household. You got to call me first so I can pick some things up. Before you come by, do you have a drop by household Most or, or time, do you need yes, you need a the, phone call? The first thing I do when I first wake up in the morning is clean up the house. We she don't have a, a very big call. apartment. 
No. Because no, I don't. she like behind I closed doors clean. Phone, behind closed no. doors clean. If you can't see it, that no. don't mean it's clean. He like the front I room. That's, up. that's 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 no. considered clean. As long no. as that flow vacuumed and all that's together. Her She's job cool. Done. The rest yeah, of it doesn't matter. Done. No. And you don't cook dinner at 8 30, 9 o'clock in the evening. And kids gotta eat and get ready for school tomorrow because you sitting I down on green no phone. I cook his dinner at 8 30, so. 9 o'clock in the evening. The kids like to eat stuff like pizza, noodles, kid food. But we still eat as a whole. We still eat as a whole. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you're not just feeding the kids pizza and noodles, no, are you? No, no, yeah, exactly. definitely not. No, they like chicken, macaroni, all that. They like. I haven't heard a vegetable yet. I fit the vegetables in when I can, when they want. They don't like vegetables like that. They're not no big vegetable fans. Okay, well. Another example. Oh, go ahead. Halloween, she's sitting there. She agreed to watch her friend's kids and also take the kids trick or treat. I'm gonna stay at home. My agreement was to buy candy and watch scary movies. Now that I don't want to go trick or treating with them and her friends' kids, and that's the whole situation blew off. Whole argument, this then destroyed the whole kids' little I feelings. I don't know what the heck so, happened on Halloween. Explain that to me again. She, she, she was supposed to, to take her friends' kids and her kids out, out trick or treating. Trick -treat. yep. What happened? She wanted me to go, and I said no. What I wanted to do with the kids was stay in, buy their candy, and watch scary movies. Mm -hmm. Same That's type of setting, fun. same thing. That's so no she fun. wanted to do that. Okay, go out and do it. Once I said I didn't want to do it, now she don't want to do it. Me and her arguing when it's supposed to have been about the kids going trick or treating. And you agreed to watch your friends' kids, not me. No, I don't see, have nothing did, to do with did, that. Did, did, so you, you pushing the blame Did you get to argue on Halloween about taking the kids trick or treating? Yes, because. First of all, him wanting to keep the kids in the house and just buy candy, that's not fun. It was cold when I was young, outside. I didn't want to stay in the house and just buy me candy. No, I wanted to go trick-or-treating. So, yeah, of course, I agreed to watch the um, girl kids, but we Why got three kids, go? too. That's Why does he point? have to because go? Because we have three kids, and then there's two kids, so... Well, you should have thought about that myself. before you asked other kids over. If you wanted no, to go trick-or-treat... No, I didn't or treat ask me. other kids over. She wanted me to watch the kids because she was working, and she didn't have a babysitter. So and I agreed, agreed to watch them because she was going to pay me to watch yeah, them. Yeah, but that, that, that's the knife you have to fall on. He didn't agree to watch those kids. Yeah, but why kids? you can't come out and outside and at least enjoy Halloween with three kids? I, I understand, okay, you don't want nothing to do with her kids, but still... We he didn't want to go to, trick or treating. I wanted to stay in the house. You that wanted was the to go point. trick or treating. He had a plan. They you had a plan. Too. You take care of your business. He takes and care I'll of his business. And I'll be at home, and we're gonna finish it off. And they got the best of both worlds. We didn't have to argue none of that. So that's that's what's consistent in our household but with, no, with the problem between me and her. No, because you upset them because first of all, they had their costumes on. They want to go outside trick or treating. But you told me you were taking them out trick or treating. That was your agreement with them. You can't just buy them candy and then just tell them, yeah, just stay in the house. Y'all gonna eat some candy. That's why you agreed to take them trick or treating once. You said you People, wasn't. That was your Y'all standing in a courtroom arguing about Halloween. <laughs> Grown folk. Come on now. Let's let's step up and step past that. In order to be a good script, you gotta be energetic and on your job. When I be coming in there, okay, I watch my girl dance a little bit. She be complaining. My feet hurt. I'm ready to go. I just, how long we gonna be in here still? Now, Ms. Sanders, and, and I want you to step back and step away from what you, what you do every day and ask yourself, is there any truth whatever in what Mr. Lewis says? No, I don't think it's true, because I don't think me not folding the clothes right then and that, that, We're not going to talk about those clothes anymore. <laughs> okay, well, no me. more with the folding the clothes, okay? We're gonna, uh, let's go past that. Is there stuff that's not done that you can specifically itemize for me other than the folded clothes? Uh, the biggest part is us financially being able to progress, like I say. In four years, she haven't attempted to even look for employment while I've been carrying the load. Again, I she have. brings two children Stop. in this relationship that I've been supporting as if they mind because we live in a household. I right. take care of them in that order. So all I ask her for is a little help. I don't consider her going up to dance, the script, or any of that as sufficient income. So... Well, let's talk about the stripping for a second. When were you stripping, and how long were you stripping? I've, I've been, I went, when we first met each other, I was dancing. But after he saw that it wasn't fit anymore, I had stopped dancing. And I have not been dancing for maybe a year now. Okay, let me ask you this. How much do you pull in on any given night? When you when you dance on on anywhere on a good night on a real good night you can wake anywhere from maybe like 
seven hundred to a stack to a thousand in one night. Yeah. Was she bringing home that kind of cash in one night? Definitely not. See, that's the more part about her being lazy. No, in order to be a good script, hang on. In order to be a good script, you got to be energetic and on your job. When I be coming in there, okay, I watch my girl dance a little bit. She be complaining, my feet hurt. I'm ready to go. I just, how long we gonna be in here still? So I, I, I like in a no win situation all the time. So it's like I don't get nothing, nothing to do, no win, and then like I go work a real that eight hours. Uh, really. Sometimes they have to put in overtime, an extra two, four hours or something, and true. come home and hit things like what a fool that. Oh, well the kids was playing all day and I wasn't hungry yet. And like I say, it's 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. So now I take a whole another hour to cook, and then I gotta go to sleep and get right back up for work tomorrow. Mrs. Sanders, oh, that, it's just not just gonna work like that. Were you a slow grinding, limping stripper? No, yeah. no. <laughs> See, he came up to the strip club maybe once or twice when I first started, and I was getting used to it. So, yeah, I probably was complaining a little bit, but as far as the money and the So, you were complaining? Was, you know, a little bit. men come to the strip club to, for women to get naked bit, and not like complain. My first <laughs> then you get, then you get, then you get the complaints at home. They're going for a complaint. Exactly. I wasn't complaining to nobody else, just to him because he was there. But you know, that would make bad service. So that's again, I feel that goes to my point again about four years in a relationship, you would think that she would be ready to he progress. He wants brand name jeans and all this other different type of things that he wants, his truck and jewelry and all this fancy. Then I didn't see it was, was a problem then. It wasn't a problem then. I was working then, so it was going hand in hand. But since I stopped working, we don't have a home no more. We just recently got back together in our same, under the same roof. I lost my vehicle. And I mean, things just got rough. We were staying wherever we could at that point. And I just That's wanted to I'm see the difference no between when I had a job and now that we strictly depending on you dancing. We ain't got none of the luxuries that we once had. So it was like I thought that she would see that and have my back and step up to something better. Like this ain't working. So I gotta do something better to add to this situation. So I don't know who's working and who's not working now. So we're gonna have I, to uh, all that explain that to me. When we first met, I was a truck driver for three right. years in a relationship when we first met. And then I lost my job. Right. So now I'm doing miscellaneous little things, temple service Picking jobs. up work, hustling, exactly. doing the best you can. Right. And once I lost my job initially, I, had a, I was making a decent amount. I had a lot of money saved up. So we was living off of that. But when you don't have no income coming in and you steady spending now, living the same lifestyle as she said, the brand names, the going mm -hmm. out, the money gets spent fast. Were, were you living the same lifestyle? Yes, yes. Well, let's talk about yes. that. That's not being mature, not being smart, you know. Everything fun until it get real. And once it got real, it's still just fun to her. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to Facebook.com slash Divorce Court and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. I'm gonna ask you both the same question. How much sense does it make to live the same lifestyle that you lived when you had a job when you don't have a job? That's not being mature, not being smart, you know, and you, everything fun until it get real. And once it got real, it's still just fun to her because it's like now all the lights is off, the money not coming the way did, it was was. Miss Sanders, did you ever stop and say, hey, we can't spend money like this anymore because that good money that he was making when he was a truck diver is no longer coming through? Did that ever cross your mind? Nope. Nope. Really? Really? <laughs> you can't see the money. I, you, money comes in the door, comes in the door, comes in the door, bam, keeps coming in. It stops, and you still spending. That didn't, nothing. Now you see my pain. I would be apoplectic. You'd have to shoot me with a tranquilizer gun. And, and that's why I feel as a woman, she's not playing a role, because a woman stands by and see like it's getting hard for this man, so let me step up to the plate and do something. For four years, he carried us and let me just relax, and I why didn't even didn't do the little Why didn't you make things. an effort to get out there and get a job? I have. I've been trying to get jobs. I've been filling out job applications. I've been doing everything I can. I just haven't been lucky. 
to find a job. I've been trying to find a job. I don't believe him. Like, you got to put yourself you, you, in a situation to get a job. You know what, Ms. Sanders? Job. You know, sometimes the economy is rough, but we're not in the, in the trough anymore. People, if you put your mind to it, you can get a little exactly. something out there after, after a few years. You know what I mean? Right. My understanding is that one day you yelled at him, she yelled at you while in the strip club, yeah. We, Explain what we, happened we, to we, me. Um, she, she at work doing her thing or whatever, and I'm at the bar. I'm socializing with, with one of the girls there or whatever. So I'm hearing something, but I'm playing it off like, no, nah, it can't be. And I hear it again getting loud. Shining, Social shining, shining, shining. And then I'm like, hey, I turned around, it's her. And I'm ready to leave, standing there looking at me with the face. So everybody looking at me like, dang, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with them? But, and I'm like, dang, how you gonna put me on blast? How you gonna put me on blast like that? And you run around here in high heels with your tail out all day long, and I just gotta deal with it. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm playing the role too. So, you know, we, uh, we socialize. What's wrong with that? Ms. Sanders, did you holler at him in the strip club because he yes. wouldn't stop talking? Yes. Why? Because, first of all, he wasn't socializing. The girl was all in his face. He all in her face. They had been sitting there, I think, like, over 30 minutes, He's maybe almost working. an hour. See, me. I was watching you. And they were just too close. It wasn't like no friendly casual. Like, anything <laughs> casual would have been over within 10 minutes. They was, like, really just See, you think you might have overreacted to a the bit conversation. since... He was in the club. He knew you were there. You were on the stage dancing. He knew you could see him. So do you think that that was really a, something that he was doing? Yeah. Yes, no. because we have been known to go in clubs before and have for him to be all in female faces. And I'm just sitting there looking. Are you all like. flagrant with it, Mr. Lewis? Nah, do you go we, in it, where it, she's it, working and talk to other women? We, have, we have it fun. We supposed to socialize. And there's no, other women there that no, dance. No. We dance. You don't have to so speak, we ain't nothing no. past that. We going home at the end of the day. So that's all that matter. It's just like her so getting you, up there it shaking and dancing. So was a little dancing. innocent flirting Damn. is what you said. Yeah, a little fun. I'm a man. She look good. Okay, hey, whatever. Pulling out your no... phone and getting phone numbers and that's all networking. that. That ain't that's that's networking. networking. I'm helping her career get better. Networking. You know, she might be able to help give us some dance lessons or something. Yeah, I know what network you want. <laughs> On Divorce Court, I hear it all. Do you need help with your relationship? He has told you that he does not do women's work. When it comes to doing domestic work like laundry, he's told me, oh, I don't do women's work. What do I have you here for? Ooh, we're gonna have to get you bodyguards to get out of here if you said something like that. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Sanders, you claim that he has scandalous behavior a lot. Uh, yes. You contend one time you came home early and there was a woman in the kitchen with her shirt off? No. He was in the kitchen cooking chicken for her or whoever he was cooking for with his shirt off. I was cooking with chicken his for shirt. my she house. She was sitting, in the, sitting there watching him cook the chicken or whatever she was doing. Bare chested. Yes. Yes, he it's had no shirt on. We, it's summertime and it summer, get real hot in my apartment and I'm frying chicken. That's for no her, excuse. When she come home, she happened to know the female that was there. Stop, stop. And when she got there, I polite, we was already bickering. I politely asked her to leave. We actually had to have the police get involved in this situation. And she ended up going to jail because she couldn't control herself and wasn't trying to hear anything that was going on. So that wasn't on me. This girl has been around and kicked it with us while she was there. So she knows it's not no situation like that. If so I'm not so what, did she, what did she do and say when she got there that it, that demon came police. out. Every, every, that, when that voice in the strip club, that person came out all over again. She, and she, what did she do? She tried to start attacking me, tried to attack the girl, and that's why I had to call the police. When the police arrived, they had to take her to jail because she was belligerent, just going crazy, and wasn't trying to listen. Did you lose your mind in the kitchen? I didn't necessarily lose my man. I lose felt like the whole situation was wrong. I come back home, and you in the kitchen cooking with your shirt off. And then I get the, and she had the nerve to ask, should I leave? What do you mean, should you leave? Yes, you should leave. <laughs> yes. Now, you had to have lost your mind a little bit because they arrested you. They don't usually arrest you if they you're just in there having a conversation. Because I told them they wasn't doing their job. That's why they arrested me. What did you say? What did you say? No, what did he you say? Was, the officer was mad because I told him he wasn't doing his job. And Why he would you tell an officer he was when dead. he gets to your house that he wasn't doing his job? He wasn't. He well, wasn't. what was he doing that's wrong? That's, like that's he was that selfish stuff. Head. 
Because she wrong. Because no. you come to the apartment not listening, the house, trying to fight and argue. Else. That ain't that ain't how things go. That ain't how dose operate. You oh, supposed wow. to talk and understand what's going on. Me. You people are a hot mess and I got a headache. I'm calling a recess. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> What I think I'm seeing is a woman who can't get it together with a man who can't get over what he lost. I'm gonna have to spend a little more time with them to figure out just what's going on. Submit your case at divorcecourt.com.